I'm going to use the iPad. The brush I'm using is Chuck. Work out where's the location. Uh, the subject I am drawing is a Virginia Woolf. The facial expressions and very quiet. The same as when you are drawing on the paper or try to paint it in watercolor. The first thing you try to work out is the composition. Let's see, working on the biggest composition. The neck move a little bit more to the left in this case. The convenience of using a digital tool and then you can easily erase or going backward or going f return and so on. And some of the preliminary drawing lines can be can stay and become a very interesting uh, effect for the final drawing or painting. Okay, and think the shoulder location looks very good to me. So take a look. I think the neck is in the right location. Now I'll come back to uh, refine the face. If you draw looking like this from the forehead coming down, ignore the nose. And it actually one straight line. And by the way, I create a patron page for you to download the photo reference that I use. When I do color paintings, I will also create the color palette and you can download it from there. So if you can, or if you like what I do, please come to join me and it's, I probably only create one tier of uh, support, so it's not going to be uh, much of, it's going to be just going to be simple. Uh, put it here. So the here location is right over here and look like the ear is coming down from here. If this is correct, this point, and you can come directly coming from here, not that long, it's over here. That's just the ear. So kind of you locate everything together, connect everything together right from the beginning. And there's another shape inside the ear over here, uh, like that. Now we have the biggest shape is all the layout. And this is the um, eraser. You, if you don't want this, it's just uh, basically I have the eraser and the smudge tool uh, very much use the same tools like the chuck and here is the chuck. Uh, but you can modify uh, the size of the brush and uh, uh, the opacity of the brush uh, when you're using different tool or when you're using it at different time and come back to the drawing. So let's take a look at the size of the face. I think the size is good. I'm probably have the chin come down a little bit. But be a little careful if you have changed the location of the chin and it will change location of the ear. Now the ear need to come down a little bit. Because when I draw the ear is based on the location of the chin. So keep that in mind. It's the same technique, same process as you um, using a paper, a charcoal. Okay, it's very much the same. Okay, good. Now this is good. Now those locations already work out and I'm going to come in to define um, 
the vertical. It looks like the hairline over here, but it looks like her, her forehead is very small. And it's a little bit like a, only like a half of the... It, for most of the people, the, you can divide it into from here and then uh, one, two, three. And one, two, three. And this is the eyebrows, this is the nose, and this is the chin. But for her, is the eyebrows is about over here. Okay? So it's use the general guideline uh, to compare with the with the um, subject that you are drawing. So now when I'm drawing, I want to just draw the whole place like this. Just the whole shape. Not looking into inside the eye. I want to draw this shape. Like that. And from here, coming down to the nose. Now the nose now come up a little bit, right over here. But from the eyebrows to the chin, and actually you can divide into half. That is the nose the bottom of the nose, right over here. Right? Before we talk about, if we ignore the nose, you can draw the straight line coming down like this. Now we add the nose, so add the triangle on the top. Like, uh, do you see the triangle right over here? This is the triangle, right? The same observation skill. Looking at the angle of this line, it's not a, a vertical straight line. Is is tilted a little bit this way, like that. And when you draw something, focus on what you're drawing and making sure it's correct as possible. Nothing is gonna be absolutely correct. You feel it's correct, that's probably good enough. Okay, now we're gonna add in this location and the corner of the nose. Now coming down here with the mouth and look like the was the middle like falling into the general guideline the bottom of the the bottom border of the mouth actually cut it in between these two space like right over here and then from here and in the middle of the upper lip is the middle and that means the top over here is a little bit higher like that now we can draw a line uh, going to this direction, like this. Here you go. So this is the upper lip. So digital iPad is, in particular, it's, it's just another drawing tool. Um, if you have one, yeah, play with it. It may be somehow help you, maybe it help you on the composition study, maybe help you be able to draw one regular drawing too is not convenient, like over here and the, and the chin. When the chin over here, there's a little triangle. Okay. Uh, something I want to talk about when you draw with iPad. If you draw like this and holding on for too long, it turned into a straight line. And for some people, it's a great feature. Use two finger and cancel it. I'm gonna lay it down and quickly. I don't wanna hold it, okay? As soon as hold it, it become a boring straight line. And not for everyone. And, and some like to have a straight line. And now, so for me, it looks like a little bit uh, too much like a cartoon, a natural uh, way to see. And okay, now I'm going to see a little curve over here. Now coming down. Now I give a little bit definitions over here. And not always need the uh, definitions. I'm gonna come in here to define the shape. That's the shadow shape. Look at the shape for the shadow, right over here. Now just draw the area for the shape. And under the ear, look at the ear. The ear can actually can come up, back up a little bit. And underneath over here, there is just the 
catch the shadow underneath. Okay, like that. Now I come in here, uh, this area, I'm going to shade a little uh, shadow. So when you see the area underneath the eyebrows, it actually is a whole piece of shape like that. Make it simple. And now I'm going to come in to define the shape of the hair. Now see a little shape over here on the top. Now coming through over here, look at the angle of this top over here. Uh, talk about the other features uh, for iPad. Uh, uh, lots of people liked the effect is, oh, I can change the canvas. I can change the paper. I can modify it. I can cut the paper. I can actually add more paper. It's so easy. But this kind of thing, it doesn't translate into the regular uh, painting and drawing uh, with the traditional tool. If you mainly use the traditional uh, to create art, or you still don't want to let go of that part, and I would like you to spend a little bit more time right at the beginning to focus on the composition. Spend more time on it, not rely on and okay, I'm going to change that. I don't need to worry too much because there is a way I can uh, extend the paper uh, or uh, cut the paper and that consider it as a bad habit. Uh, it's, I know you can do it, but if you can do it without, uh, make the, the, the good um, decision right at the beginnings without relying on the computer to uh, there's no right or wrong but however my opinion is you can do that that is a great accomplishment that every time you get the correct composition right from the beginning not relying on uh, later okay now I divide the shape into a little smaller shape I can see over here okay and now I think the, the composition is pretty good. Now I'm going to fill in some colors in the hair. Now over here, I increase the size of the brush and probably lower the capacity a little bit. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, even more. This is mixed to the maximum. And also I'm using this uh, Apple Pencil that you can control the pressure pretty well. It's very sensitive. But when you see me, the way I'm drawing on the iPad, it actually the same way that I would do with charcoal. Even though iPad offering some convenience are tools, convenient, convenient uh, way to uh, do something. Like I'm over here and I'm going to make it much lower. Make a little bit. I'm going to fill it in uh, the shadow right in here. Maybe come back a little bit, the opacity. So make a little bit darker. Now fill in a little big shadow in here. And on the forehead, like this, good. And a little bit, I'm going to make it a little bit lighter and come in. Uh, the cheek is pretty soft. I'm going to make this bigger, even softer. So now I'm going to come in to give it a, uh, if you're looking for some information, it will be available over there. They are waiting for you. But if you're not looking, for example, compare the uh, value of this and compare the value of that. It is okay. They're actually a little bit darker. So if you look for it, it's there. So if you have a process uh, that would work for you and the have almost like a checklist and say, okay, the first step, second step, third step. How I'm going to find all the uh, 
in the in a some kind of uh, working method and now in the lip over here I can look in into a little bit closer now I'm gonna have the brush size a little bit smaller I'm gonna come in over here like this now looking for uh, the value now this is the triangle I'm gonna make the triangle a little bit darker and come back over here here you go now it's, everything is shaped is either triangle rectangle mostly triangle different kind of triangle if you make it a little bigger so the oh that's too much and then two finger and then you cancel it okay that's good now come back over here expand a little bit now when I come to the different tool now I'm gonna use this um, the smudge tool now the, what the smudge tool is gonna do is gonna blending uh, the value uh, so for example over here and to see come down a little bit now I can see if you blend from the white background and into the color and you make the color actually lighter and you blend in over here from the dark color and blend it out to the white and it would actually become a little bit um, uh, in the regular drawing this is actually the paper when you blend from the paper in to the charcoal it, it won't actually bring the white into the charcoal but in this case it actually the iPad treat this the uh, the paper as a white color so when you smudge it like uh, you brand in the white charcoal actually into uh, the the uh, the the charcoal or, or, the, or the black tone okay now I'm gonna cancel that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just brand it like this it's just from down up so I don't want to uh, get too much uh, the dark value into the white like it's good now I'm gonna make this a little softer so the blending tool is very convenient and I can actually use the uh, smudge to act as a eraser by blending the white into the dark so hopefully that does help you okay now I'm gonna blend the white into here this is good so this is very good um, tool to uh, to create that uh, the the tonal relationship. Now I'm gonna have it smudge a little bit in here uh, quickly. Make it like a little bit more painterly. And over here I'm gonna smudge it out and in. I'm gonna have that's good. A little gray color over here like that and coming into the hair I'm gonna make the brush the biggest I can you don't have to uh, smudge everything or blend everything uh, but some area that you think uh, you can develop even more uh, the expression and then you use the smudging it may help like this and I'm going to delete that by use eraser and then coming over here erase that so hopefully this to this tutorial it answers some of your questions between um, the regular drawing and the digital drawing I will not call it a digital drawing it's just drawing I use different tools and I'm going to use the smudge tool and then and then push it out like that good come back to the regular drawing I'm gonna make the line a little bit thinner and come up a little bit the opacity and the tip of the nose more like this okay good I'm gonna use this much too and take a look 
and first I'm going to uh, erase some area outside over here. Now I'm going to come into um, star refine this location. Pick up. Now look at the tip. That's good. And I'm going to use the eraser. But I'm going to lower the capacity. So I'm not erase the whole thing. And come up, come down over here. So only left a little gray color. This is good. Okay, like that. And we find the edge over here. So the same way that I would um, use the traditional uh, media. And I start always start from the bigger uh, relationship, the big compositions before coming down to smaller and smaller details. Now let's take a look on the outside over here. I don't mind to leave all those, uh, those lines. Uh, this is a good feature. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come in over here, make a little smaller. Now come in, develop a little uh, light area. This is extremely similar to what you would use opaque media like oil. So you develop the whole shape first and then you come in to use the light color and just put it in. And it's so easy to develop um, that uh, the lightness. And then come in here, there's add a little uh, triangle. And take a look at the line between that shape and this shape. Like this. That's cool. Now I'm going to use the smudge too. And I'm going to make it a little smaller. Like that. Okay, I can use the smudge too and actually connect those values together. That's good. I'm going to use the eraser, but not erase 100%. Now I'm going to develop a little lighter value. Just like a regular, when you use a real eraser, you're not necessarily to erase the 100%, all the things. So like the little bit coming over here, the little shape. That's good, like that. Now take a little bit, little, I think the eye, the corner over here, come out to the right a little more. Uh, since I have this uh, eraser too, I'm going to erase a little bit over here, and I'm going to use the smudge too to actually smudge this and make it a little bigger. I can smudge from the white into uh, the tongue, uh, from the tongue, uh, smudge to the white. Okay, I think the location of this shape is as right. So what I want to do, I'm going to come back to the brush. Now let's take a look. Now I need to move this a little bit toward the right side. Okay, sometimes a little bit is enough. And you can hold in um, uh, the, the drawing tool, which is right now is the uh, Apple Pencils. Uh, control the pressure, okay, like that. And then we're looking into inside over here, and you look closer enough, you can see, actually see inside over here is the iris. And, but however, the iris is sitting inside of this shadow. So you don't want to make uh, the relationship, destroy the previous relationship. You're going to keep the, based on the, the large relationship and then develop the smaller, smaller relationship. The smaller relationship is obey the 
larger relationship. And that would make your drawing process much easier. Now, a little bit over here, I need to use the smudge tool. make the value a little bit better. Now I use the brush tool again. I don't want this too, too dark. Just tap something over here. And I'll come into um, the eyebrows. Like this. That's good. And if you see something unclear, just make it unclear. Okay? You don't have to make it really clear that means you unless there is a special reason so and then we'll come into the other side okay that's good i'm going to use this much too i'm going to make this a little bit lighter okay coming like this from the light to the darker that's good now come back to the brush that's very good keep that little triangle for the eyelashes, like that. And that's almost done. Okay, take a look. The eye looks good, but this is a little bit too much. I'm gonna use the smudge too. I'm gonna, to, from the white and moving into the line, and I can make it kind of disappear. And also on this side, I'm gonna smudge a little bit, like over here, I'm gonna smudge the value around. So some of the things, they are not exactly the same as the traditional two, but a lot of it is similar. At least the drawing, the observation uh, process is will be the same. So coming in here, and move this value coming in here. So it's very easy, you can uh, actually finish the drawing uh, very, very quick. And the process is still very important. Okay, now the eye looks good. Now I'm gonna bring that value and into uh, this area a little bit. Like that, it's good. Now take a look at the connection. Okay, I'm gonna have this a little bit smoother, a little bit lighter. I'll take a look. Now I'll take a look at the corner of the nose and I'm gonna make the opacity a little bit lower. Okay? So take your time and uh, but don't take too much time. You want like say in, instead of the 6B if you want to have something like 2B it just lower the capacity. Uh, now I'm gonna looking at uh, the nostril. And I'm gonna just make the darker area right over here, like that. Now, refine. That's good. I'm gonna use this much too. And blend in a little light value. And then coming down over here. That's good. That's a very important feature uh, for her, because this is her, she has a very interesting, unique look of her nose. Okay, that's good. So I could also blend a little value in here. Okay, now I'm gonna remove some of it by from the white and moving in a little. And also in this area, I'm gonna blend in a little white coming in over here. Good, that's good. Now coming to the mouth, take a look at the area. Now I'm gonna use the smudge to continue. And then, that's good. And look at this area. There's a, a simple shape. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm going to blend a little white shape coming in here. There. Make the brush size a little bit smaller. 
that. Like that. Now come back to the drawing tool. The brush. Okay, it's good. Now look at this triangle. And come into the corner over here. She's very quiet. Like this. So I'm gonna use this much too again. Yeah, let's take a look. Blend the color out a little. Good. Like that. Take a look underneath. Now use the brush and can see the cast shadow under the lip over here. That's good. Now take a look at this area. So a little darker value right under here. This is good. So leave a little lighter, like a a, a, a head tone a value, and over here. So that is the considered uh, the local color for the lip. This is the color uh, of the lip with or without the lighting. Okay, have a little. It's okay to leave the texture. I don't want to see that uh, everything so smooth, okay? And I'm using a brush and I'm gonna just control the pressure, not press it too hard. So you can have this a little lighter, just holding same thing as holding a pencil. If you're ever holding a pencil in the past, I think this generation we still use the pencil chuggles uh, more often than other tools. Now I'm gonna use the smudge tool. Now coming here into the chin area. I can make this a little smoother in this shape. Okay, like that. It's good. So start from rough and coming into a little bit more and more uh, refined. And now I'm gonna use the eraser tool and just clean up the outside over here. Like that. Now this much too again. That's good. Now from here, I'm gonna have this uh, blend it out a little bit like this. Also make this uh, value a little bit uh, lighter like that and blend it a little out. So do a little bit more practice. It's very easy to use, very easy to control. Uh, just don't ignore it and it would be really helpful for you. Okay, now, now what I want to do, I'm gonna come back to use uh, the brush. I want to refine the outside over here. Generally, I don't want to have something like a bone licks. And if you, some area need to have a line, keep a line over there. Sometimes we need the line to make a statement. Okay, that's good. And outside over here, a little bit more rounded, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna make it come back to see the full size. a look over here first I think this need a little bit attention this I think the value can blend it out here actually like this like that yeah will be better now just use two fingers and just like that and you can see the full size let's take a look uh, I think the tip over here, I think here in this area, 
a little bit too uh too out when they push back a little bit so what i want to do i'm going to take a look at it again inside over here and then i'm going to use this match tool to fix that so it's just from the light value and just push that in and how easy is that like that that's good i use this match tool from the white and coming into uh, the darker tone but i don't want to have a too sharp of an edge so i'm going to have a little bit a little bit kind of very soft like uh, look is look at like there but it's just not really there that kind of feeling a little very soft and blur okay now this line is just no longer strong okay that's good i use this much too i'm gonna come in over here too see that value looks good uh, and the corner over here I can come in a little bit sometimes you need to see the whole picture in order to relate it and this white shape can a little bit more lower so see the light and dark shape and I'm still using branding too branding too is very very helpful okay like that I right, also you can control uh, the um, the pressure for the branding too okay like that and I'm gonna blend the inside of this dark value I'm gonna bring some I keep thinking about this as like charcoal and it's just bring the charcoal in if you have that experience with charcoal and it's very very similar and come in over here and give a little bit definition so over here it may not be going to be totally finished and i'm not looking forward to make it look like another photograph i need to have my own expression and i'm going to come in over here now at this time i'm going to use a little lighter value Okay, I'm going to use a little lighter, so a little bit lighter like this, the color, on this side. Now I'm going to set a little light colors. I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger, make it a little bit less opaque. for the light color of the hair, like this. Even lighter. Okay. Now, if you feel like, um, uh, pastel and I'm gonna make it a little smaller that's good now I'm gonna come to use the smudge tool Okay, good. Now you continue to use much too in coming down over here, but that but that need to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to use the eyedropper to press press a color. It will pick up their colors, and I'm going to have it a little bit. Don't press too much pressure. I'm gonna make the brush a little bit bigger and I'm gonna fill in this area. And 
I'm going to come in a little bit bigger. Uh, use the smudge tool now. First, I'm going to smudge a little bit inside. Too much. Yeah, the edge right this is the right, the right shape. Make it a little smaller. Okay, like this. Uh, depends on which direction you are. You're using a smudge. It's very powerful. Okay, now coming down over here. From the dark, coming to the light. Good. Over here, I'm going to use the white and blending in. Like this. That's good. Now coming the outside over here, and I'm going to fine tune. I'm still using the smudging tool. Okay, coming here like this. That's good. Now take a look at the whole image. That's good. There is some uh, darker tone right over here, so I'm going to just follow some of the uh, darker shape right over here. So I'm going to smudge this in. It's very similar to charcoal and interesting. I find a connection, okay, like over here. Now I'm gonna disconnect it a little bit by smudge from uh, the white and coming to the dark. And on this area, I also need to have some uh, light, very light tone. Okay. Like that, and come smudge out a little bit loose here. That's good. Now, give a little catch the shadow, and make it a little bit lighter, make it a little bit bigger, like that, and then set little catch the shadow on this side on this side of the shoulders like that and she has a necklace What else we need to include? Now what I want to do, uh, let's do a little smudge, blend the color a little bit. Let's say blending, it's not smudging. Okay, it could be the same. the capacity a little bit lower. You can continue this way and I'm going to use the much bigger and also a little um, bigger brush. I'm going to make the neck over here a little bit darker. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna have it come here, connect to the ear, and make the brush size a little bit smaller, make it a little bit darker, because I wanna develop the shape under the ear. That's good. Now I'm gonna use the eraser. And come in here to create uh, we find the shape of the ear here. I 
I use the brush and come to refine the shape. Those are smaller details and you can do it at this point on. And it's very easy when you have the whole bigger relationship already under control and then the rest has become much more enjoying. Okay, and at this point, I also want to uh, have some uh, a little smaller, but it's much darker. I'm gonna have the suggestions of the, the hair, the line coming through over here, like this. You don't want to make it too tedious, but you don't want to make it too uh, soft. Sometimes you need some uh, suggestions, some darker value. So I'm going to use some even darker value. I'm going to pick that color, move it a little so you can find the color that you want. And now I come in here, a little bit darker. The dark is so far, right? Good. And you can make the brush size a little bigger. I'm going to want to pick that color. I'm gonna come in over here, the, the bigger brush. In my case now, I, because you should chuck, so it's a bigger chuck, not bigger, bigger brush. So you can see a little reflected light underneath over here. You can use this much to, to bring that color in. And it's good. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna have the eraser. Too big. That's fine. Okay, now I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to add a layer and I'm going to put the layer underneath. Do you know what I'm doing? Um, I'm going to create the gray color for the background. So I'm going to use the biggest brush, a biggest chuck, and make a really capacity is really, opacity is really, really low. So I'm going to, might be too low. Oh, I'm using supposed to be the chuck, not the eraser. Now I'm gonna be even lower, like this. There's another way to do it, is to use the, pick the right color, and I'm gonna put this color, look at the value over here. I think this is like the right value. And I could do, I'm gonna fill in the entire uh, layer, entire canvas. And this, that's, that's good. And now I'm gonna drag it and release. Now I'm gonna have the whole paper to be a little great. Uh, in this case, I think it's not really the right, a little bit too warm. I'm gonna come up a little bit. I'm gonna make it a little great. Okay, that's good. I'm going to do it again. Uh, because I'm using these layers, not with the layers, with the drawing. So now, this is good. Now I'm coming over here. Now what I want to do, I'm going to use the blend tool. And I'm going to blend that color in here. Because I already have some line over here. Make it, I don't have to make it too smooth. Now what I want to do, now I'm going to use the eraser. And I'm going to, like a half of the uh, opacity. 
Now what I want to do, I'm going to erase the area that has her, her face. And I'm going to come in like this. You know, now I have her. Just like you're drawing on a, a toned paper with white, like this. looking into make it the size smaller like this looking at her nose and her chin like it used the circular uh, motion okay like this So a little bit. Uh, by the way, I'm erasing not the on the drawing layers. I'm erasing actually uh, on the background layer. So hopefully, this gives you some basic understanding uh, uh, with this new media. I don't mean to. Uh, make you to go to buy an iPad. You can use your traditional drawing to do anything. It's the same thing that you draw. Maybe the little process a little bit different. And I'm going to make it lighter. So a little bit lighter. Like that. So what I want to do, I'm going to actually paint it. Make it a little bit lighter. I don't want the 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 contrast is too much between the background and the uh, main object. Now probably look a little bit better. Use the just use the white colors. This is pretty light. And what I want to do, so I'm gonna paint it into the face area, but this in the background layer. Like this. Now I'm gonna do one more look. It looks like the nose a little bit too big. So I'm gonna make the nose a little bit smaller, okay. The first thing, I'm gonna move the nose a little bit higher. All right, let's do a little selection. First, you do come to uh, the drawing layer. And the next thing, I'm going to move it a little higher. And now I give a little bit more space for the mouth. I think 
is in the right place. Yeah, in the right place. Now check. That's good. Now I'm gonna move the mouth a little bit higher. I'm gonna start over here. The same location. I'm gonna need to make the chin a little bit uh, longer. Here you go. Like that. And maybe come out a little bit. Let's see. No, it's right. It is the right place. Uh, maybe come in a little bit. And now, out a little bit. Second back and forth, back and forth until you're happy with it. Okay, come out a little bit more. Okay. Is that right? That's good. Now I come back over here. I'm gonna do uh, smudge it, or say blend it. And I'm gonna come in, take a look, make the blender a little smaller. Sometimes this kind of adjustment is unavoidable. Every medium, you have a way to uh, make the final adjustment. Okay, good. Take a look, and this come out a little bit like that. Good. And then on over here, it's a little kind of uh, a light gray color. I'm gonna blend it in here. That's good. And the outside, and it's easy to blend it in and get rid of it. And over here, I have a little light, small light shape. I'm gonna blend the light shape in here, like that. That's good. Take a look at and take a look at and the top over here. I think this can be a little clear. Blend a white color in here. Okay, there's Blend it a little like that. Yeah. Now this is how it looked like the final drawing. And over here, blend it a little. So what you should depending too is de depends on what you blend it from the dark or blend it from the from the light. And the white paper actually act as uh, the white color. You can make that larger. That's too much. Okay, that's fine.
and come to the background layer. Hmm. Okay, give a little white color. And make this draw a little bit smaller so I can draw some uh, white line. Even bigger. And the shoulder. I'm gonna have this a little smoother by using the smudging, the blending tool. Okay, that's a little bit too hard, so I'm going to make it a little bit softer. I don't want the edge over here. We have been talking about edges and what's supposed to be, uh, how to use the edge to uh, create attention and sometimes you use it correctly in help to create uh, the good uh, composition and this can come up a little bit and if you use it in the wrong place it may be distra become distraction So okay, so today's uh, and look at the chin over here. 